paint the color is cloud white by benjamin moore what do you guys think um, we're going to set up some furniture today as well but this video is to of course show you what the paint color looks like um you know do you guys like it it's up now so i mean i hope you like it if you picked a different one not really sure what to say about that but um this is it um, I'm very happy with it. There's a few minor tweaks and changes that still need to be made and some touch-ups that I have to do, but that's okay. I'm ready to start living in the space. I'm actually having some girlfriends come over later on this evening, so I wanted to start putting furniture up and dusting things off so I can actually utilize the space more besides that little tiny desk that you see over there. So let me know what you think about the color like subscribe share sit down with a box of popcorn because we're getting ready to do a little bit of decorating hey google yeah, what's up? stop the music hi everybody welcome back to this interval so we got the walls washed down we have the oh we have plastic put down on the floors so that way we can actually start the priming process. Honey, can you flip it? it has, I know it looks better that way, but it has to be that way. We have caulked them as well with this. My fiance was so patient and filled all the little holes with this. And which was actually very easy. I do, if you're doing another DIY project, this stuff is pretty simple. And so now we're getting ready to prime the walls. I do think it's best for us to prime it since we have this, such a, this really bright blue color. So we're gonna prime this. We got two gallons of primer and two gallons of paint. And this is the primer that we're gonna use. We're gonna to try to get this open. This dog isn't gonna move. He's gonna stay right there the whole time. <laughs> Napping. We just got this today, so it was already shaking up. Ooh. Ooh, it's going to be a messy process. So, ooh, it's thick. It's thick. It's kind of like... Mmm, melted ice cream. So we're going to stir this up a little bit. I will say, after spending $265 at the paint store and the sweat equity that we put in thus far, painters are worth every penny, every penny that they get. You want to zoom? We got the paint coming in. I think that's good for right now, right?
one section of the beauty room primed. We still have all of this section in the back to go. We did find a cool trick where we tucked the plastic My hands is ashy. My God. Where we took the plastic, that way we could prime the baseboard as well. Cause I'm gonna paint this. Dreamed up what I've been asking for, what I've Pinterest, what I've pinned thousands and thousands of times. I'm just looking at it right now like, whoo. Very, very bright. It's the end of day one. Is 8.57. We have accomplished quite a bit today. We got two coats of primer up. We still need to go back and get another can of primer just because there's an outside door. There's like an entryway um, that I didn't really account for in the painting as much space as I needed to. So we need to get another can of primer so we can do that. And tomorrow, because two coats, we're really hoping that we only need to do one coat of paint because the paint also has primer in it so looking forward to doing that tomorrow and we'll be tuning back in with you guys so yesterday we got up some primer um i needed more primer and i thought that i would be able to do that today on easter sunday that's not happening for me because everything is closed the original paint shop closed it's a small mom and pop shop. the kind of place where they don't wear name tags but the customers come in and they know everybody who's working their names and the people who work there knows all the customers names now i'm at lowe's they're also closed i'm just trying to figure out exactly what i'm supposed to do in order to get this primer up so that way tomorrow i can put up an actual paint we're not going to home depot if you know you know we don't mess with home depot what what other options do i have open back up but it's not um today's not going that great i'm just tired we should have just paid somebody but but we've come too far to give up so i'm gonna keep at it and um hopefully we make some progress pray for us That's exactly what this is for. So you can plug in a USB right to the thing. No block, not blocking the outlet flush. Is that clean. a concern you have a lot? Is the outlet block? Yes, because you know you could run out of outlets. But you just got ten plates, which means that's twenty outlets. You gonna use twenty outlets? I need lamps. It's a lot of lamps. <laughs> Okay, so I'm putting the final touches I'm so excited on the beauty room and that means we have to put um, these plates on so we actually just went to Lowe's and got these for 77 cents this is what the old one looks like because they painted theirs blue and clearly we want to go with white and I didn't want to waste primer or paint to go over these so we just got new ones and we're going to put this in. I 
And it's actually pretty easy to install those. Like, if I can do it, anybody can do it. New beauty room tour with paint. Oh, what a surprise. Look who it is. This room, you can see like in the corners a little bit and over on this wall, we ran out of paint. We actually ended up using two gallons and we got one more gallon on the way. But I need to start living in my space. So I wanted to show you guys. no longer empty because I do use this as a office area but what a dramatic difference with paint on the walls white paint to be specific I think it looks really great Even on camera, it makes the room, to me, look a lot bigger. It's a more neutral palette. That way I can play with colors in different ways in the space. So this is it. There are still a few things I still need to do, like these cubbies, these benches. I'm going to paint that as well. That's the original white color that they had in this space already. And I'm not sure if you can see in that tiny little corner right there. Um, I put a little bit of paint on it just to see what, what it would look like. So we're going to do the whole thing cloud white. So I'm going to come back and finish that up. But I really wanted to show you guys the space empty, semi-empty because there's a little bit of furniture in here. But I really wanted you to see what the space looks like with the paint before I actually start moving more furniture around. Where are you moving it to? That back wall on the right. I gotta move this to you. Wanna move this first? Where's it going? The left, the back wall on the left side of the window. This is heavy, remember? Watch your step. You gotta wipe this thing down. I know. I think that's good. I think it's pretty center. You probably need to go this way a little bit. You want to move the couch first? I don't care. What else do we move? All of this needs to go over there. What's the mirror stable? Well, what do you think? Whatever. Okay, let's do the couch. Oh, it's so heavy, honey. Oh. I need to wipe this down, too. Are you trying to center this as well? Dang, it looks so little in here. This <laughs> it look tiny compared to my old beauty room when it was taking up the whole thing. We got to do this from the bottom. Remember, it's kind of wobbly. What's this way? Well, there you go. Probably can feel a little bit closer to the couch, but 
Thank you so much, my hero. But I want to move this over. Where? Um, up against this wall. That's fine. It's just going to be over on this side of the room. stuff off of here so would you mind just coming back a little later on once I get it cleared off to help me move sure. back thank you so much you think so I'm about I'm about to wipe it down